Hey everyone, welcome to this walkthrough video for our Sunday Keys main stage template. I'm David Faltzgraf, the creator of Sunday Keys and the founder of sundaysounds.com, and I'm really excited to share about this main stage template with you today. Sunday Keys came out of several years of frustration and confusion and issues trying to make main stage work for myself and for the Keys volunteers on worship teams that I led. Uh, and out of that came this desire to put together a really simple and easy to understand template that was visual, volunteer friendly, and could also save me time designing sounds uh, in advance as I prepared for a given set list. Since releasing Sunday Keys for sale at sundaysounds.com, we've sold licenses to thousands of churches all around the world. And every weekend there are churches using Sunday Keys for their worship services. So it's been really cool to see how Sunday Keys has been a resource to churches all over the place. And it's definitely exceeded anything that I ever thought it could be. So I'm really excited to share with you a little bit about it today. And the real starting point of Sunday Keys was thinking about like, when I was starting with Main Stage, what were the things that I wish I would have had available to me? Uh, what were the issues that I ran into and the frustrations that, that made it really difficult for me to make progress in Main Stage? And so Sunday Keys includes tons of ready to go sounds that you don't have to do a thing to. You can just plug in and play. Sunday Keys features a really simple and visual interface that puts everything you need to know on screen. So it's less intimidating for volunteers and really easy for you to understand as you're designing sounds up front. Sunday Keys features really awesome uh, functionality like the tonic pad generator that generates a pad in the key of your choice with just the touch of a button. And it's pre-assigned to the Korg Nano Control 2, which is a really inexpensive MIDI controller that Sunday Keys visually uh, replicates on screen. So if you have the Nano Control 2, then it's a one-to-one -one comparison between what you see on screen and what you have on your hardware. And we even have a custom printed Sunday Keys decal that you can purchase and lay over your Nano Control 2 so that it's color coded to Sunday Keys as well. That center focus of keeping everything as simple and as easy to use as possible is really what has made Sunday Keys what it is. And we've taken that to every level of the process. Even the installation process is a very simple drag and drop installer. And then after you install, you're taken to our video resource page where you'll find helpful videos about getting started with Sunday Keys, including basics like connecting your MIDI hardware, connecting your audio equipment, making sure you have the sounds downloaded that you need. And then we also have video topics covering all of the functions of Sunday Keys from saving patches and staying organized to using all the features like Patch Builder and the Tonic Pad Generator. And then even more advanced topics like adding patches that you've made on your own or that you've got from somewhere else making modifications to the template, like adding a second keyboard, and then really helpful troubleshooting content to make sure that your computer's running as efficiently as possible. You also have the chance to join the Sunday Keys user community group on Facebook, which is a really active community of folks who have purchased Sunday Keys. So here you can get inspiration from how other people are using the template, get really quick troubleshooting help, and participate in beta programs and uh, seeds of new versions of Sunday Keys and have input on the future direction of this template. So it's a really thriving and active community of Sunday Keys users who've decided to make Sunday Keys the way that they interact with MainStage. Now, let's get right to it. I'd like to walk you through the various sections of the template and demonstrate some of the ready-to-go sounds that are included. And then I'll also demonstrate some of the really groundbreaking features like our patch builder workflow that makes it really easy for you to design sounds in just a couple of clicks and the tonic pad generator. That's one of the most popular features of Sunday Keys. So let's start here at the top of the workspace. Sunday Keys is a modular main stage template, which means you have four self-contained sections here at the top of the screen that each can contain different sounds depending on the patch that you load. Each section has a volume control and then various modifier and tweak effects that you can use to either subtly or radically alter the sound, either as you design your sounds in advance or in the moment when you're performing live. So different patches will have different sounds loaded into those main sections, but you always have a really clear visual reference for what's going on. The really cool thing about each of these sounds is that you can scroll down to read notes about the sound's functions, what's mapped, and how they can layer with other sounds. So it's really, really simple and easy to use, even if you've never used Sunday Keys before. Below the four main sections, you have the tonic pad generator right here. Tonic is one of my favorite features in Sunday Keys and definitely a fan favorite feature that's really popular with other Sunday Keys users. 
Tonic plays an ambient pad in the key of your choice at the touch of the button. So just choose the key that you want to play in, turn it on, and Tonic starts to play a really nice, lush, ambient pad that can glue your band together live, fill out your team if you're missing some players, and seamlessly handle transitions from one song to another or from one key to another. We'll talk more about Tonic later on in the video. Here you have your patch list. Just gives you a visual reference for where you're at in your patch list and when you're in perform mode, it's nice and centered here on the screen. Here we have the extra section where you can add in auxiliary or effect sounds. This is also where all the song specific patches from our website are automatically pre-mapped. And then you have the output section here on the bottom right where you have a master volume control, global EQ, a MIDI panic button, tap tempo so you can make sure you're locked in with your band, as well as a functional mono button so that if you only run one line out of your keyboard, you don't lose half your signal. Over here on the patch list on the left side of the screen, you'll see all the sounds that Sunday Keys includes. Sunday Keys 1.4 includes 30 layered worship patches that have already been built for you and are ready to play. Below this, you'll find the modular sounds that are included with Sunday Keys, and you can combine up to four of these sounds to design your own layered patches. It's what we call Patch Builder, and it's a groundbreaking feature within MainStage that no other MainStage template features. This makes it really easy for you to choose a sound that you'd like, like this real piano, and then find a pad that you'd like to layer with it, like this inspired pad. And you can highlight them both and combine them in just a couple of clicks to create a brand new layered patch. If we wanted to add an organ into that, we could do that as well by adding an organ into section three. So we'll grab this pad organ. We'll talk a little bit more about Patch Builder later on in this walkthrough video. What I'd love to do for you now is demonstrate a couple of the layered worship patches that are included with Sunday Keys. Then we'll talk about the tonic pad generator in a little bit more depth. And then we'll talk about patch builder after that and demonstrate a little more of how that can work for you.
Now, let's talk a little bit more about the tonic pad generator. Like I showed you at the beginning of the video, it's really easy to use tonic. Just choose the key, turn it on. On the left side of the screen, in this XY pad, you can control the shape of the tonic drone. So that it fills just the right amount of space in your mix. You can go from hollow and airy to bright and aggressive to dark and modulated, quiet and subdued. Pressing the octave up button shifts the octave of the drone so that it fills more space in the high end. And like I showed you before, Changing keys is as easy as clicking a new button. If you want a pad with a bit more movement, you can turn on the motion button, which will automate movement in the XY pad. This is the only main stage template to have a feature like this automated motion. You can adjust the speed of the movement using the speed knob. And of course, you can still change keys at any time. You can control Tonic from any MIDI controller. And by default, it's pre-assigned to Touch OSC, which means you can control it from any smartphone or tablet. Now, let's talk about one of my favorite features in Sunday Keys. This is Patch Builder. I demonstrated really briefly at the beginning of the video. Let me just give you another look at how it works. First, you find a sound that you'd like. We'll hold on to that piano. And you can grab another sound from the second section. Some ambience. And then let's say that we're going to put a pad in section four. So now that we've got our layers chosen, I'm going to grab each one. All you have to do to use Patch Builder is hold command on your keyboard while you choose each preset. And then in the settings cog, you click new patch from selected patches. And because we've done all the mapping work for you, there you go, you have a brand new layered patch. So let's tweak this a little bit more. I think this can use some synth bass. So I'm going to go down here to the extra section. And I'm going to grab this side chain bass. I'm going to grab my other patch here that we just built. Choose new patch from selected patches again. There we go. Now we can adjust the layer ranges as we'd like. So let's say that we only want this FM pulse lower down on the keyboard. So we can just go into the layer editor tab and drag this layer down some. And we're going to do the same thing for this worship pad so that it's not too high up in the mix. All right, now let's hear what we've got. Now you can name this patch whatever you'd like. You can set the tempo so that it's always going to start right where you need it to. And let's say that we wanted the piano to be a little bit more aggressive. And we'll throw some delay on it as well. So I'm going to use my Nano Control 2 and dial in these settings. So I'm using the modifiers. Let's add a little bit more shimmer and some reverb. Make it really airy. Once you've got the settings dialed in that you'd like for the patch, using the on-screen modifiers, just save your concert. 
So hit Command S to save. And then the next time you go to this patch, those settings will automatically be recalled. And patch Builder means that you can layer any sound that you'd like with just a couple of clicks. Literally, it takes seconds. So this is what we're going to got now. And that's all there is to it. Now, if you're wondering if you have the hardware you need to run Sunday Keys, be sure to check out the recommended minimum specs for your computer on the Sunday Keys product page at sundaysounds.com. Other than that, all you need is a MIDI controller and a way to connect that MIDI controller to your computer. So whether you have an old hardware workstation keyboard with an old school five pin MIDI out, or a keyboard with a USB out that you can connect to your computer, you can use either of those options. You can use an audio interface if you have one, or you can use the headphone jack on your computer and send that straight to your soundboard. And like I said on the video resource page on our website, we've got information about the various ways that you can connect your equipment, both MIDI hardware and audio out. If you have any questions about Sunday Keys that this video didn't answer, feel free to use the contact form on our website to send us an email. Thanks for checking out this video, and I hope that you'll make Sunday Keys a part of your main stage workflow. Have a great day.